Broadway's mask and vaccine policy will remain in effect at least through April despite New York City's just announced easing of COVID rules. Broadway leaders will revisit the issue on April 1st for possible updates, but for now the requirements are in place through April 30th. New York City Mayor Eric Adams announced today that the COVID vaccine passports policy across New York City, which requires showing proof of vaccination to enter restaurants and other indoor venues, will be lifted on Monday, March 7th. The city's new policy provides considerable leeway in allowing individual industries and businesses to set their own protocols and requirements. Asked by a reporter whether the new policy would extend to Broadway, Adams said, Broadway will make their determination and we'll respect that, but we're lifting our mandates. Los Angeles officially lifts indoor mask mandate, level of COVID now classified as low by CDC in a statement to deadline, Charlotte St. Martin, president of the Broadway League representing theater owners and producers, said, our current guidance is through April 30th and we are scheduled to update. Discussions are held weekly on our protocols and at this point, there is no change to our guidance. We will, of course, let you know when it changes. Broadway's latest decision to hold firm on its policy reaffirms its decision made early in February when New York State eased up on statewide mask mandates. Broadway venues require vaccinations for audience members, as well as performers, backstage crew, and theater staff, and masks are required for audiences inside the theater, except while actively eating or drinking in designated locations. Broadway's most recent box office figure suggests that the mask and backs requirement is not proving detrimental to the industry overall. Last week, 92% of available seats were filled and box office receipts climbed 5% over the previous week to $23.004, 259.